This uh, lecture is about the principle of superposition. The principle of superposition is one of the essential characteristics of linear time invariant systems and therefore of the subject that we are interested in. What it allows you to do is to deal with complex situations by combining them or obtaining them rather from simple situations. The uh, simple situations come from decomposition of input signals and initial conditions into separate components, taking the output for each one of these elements and then summing them up together. So the deal is as follows. We take a differential equation and we assume that it is linear. In other terms, it looks something like, for example, x third derivative plus 2x second derivative plus 3x prime with the first derivative plus 10x is equal to u, the input, and we have, say, some initial conditions like x of 0 is equal to, let's say, 3 x of x prime of 0 is equal to 5, then x second of 0 is equal to minus 1. This is by all means an example, and an example only. There are two ways to deal with this problem say that u, again to make things specific, will be delta of t, okay? That is an impulse. Then, as I said, there are two ways to solve for x of t. The first way is to take the whole Laplace thing. Then, for example, we could say like s squared so how does it go okay the laplace of the third derivative of x we know will be 
will plus of s times sorry will be s times to the plus of x second minus x second of zero which is equal to s squared so s times s times the Laplace of x prime or x dot minus x prime of zero minus x second of zero which is also equal to s times s times s times the Laplace transform of x which is x hat minus x of 0 minus x prime of 0 minus x second of 0 and then the same thing for here, the same thing for there, the same thing for there and the Laplace of u being equal to 1. Now, there are pluses and minuses to this approach and probably the, I mean the plus is that we are done all in one shot. The minus so the plus is we do all in one shot but the minus is that we need to carry a lot at each step each step okay and so we have the opportunity for errors The second way that we can do this is doing the Laplace transform input by input and initial condition by initial condition so let me show you what I mean by this uh, I erase all this area and what I suggest is the following instead of doing this what we're going to do is first we're going to solve for the same differential equation but we set the initial condition all to zero and we only keep u the input okay then this is relatively easy to solve because you can just write s cube Oh, and of course, we set the initial conditions to zero instead. Okay, zero, zero, zero. So it becomes s cube times x hat plus two s squared times x hat plus three s times x 
hat plus 10x hat is equal to 1. Now we can solve for this one easily by saying that x hat must therefore be equal to 1 over s cubed plus 2s squared plus 3s plus 10 and we take the inverse Laplace transform of that. Then what we do is we say we said u is equal to 0 we said x of 0 is equal to 3 and we set the other two to 0. We obtain that s3 times x hat and then we add uh, hold on a second here, I just don't want to mess it up minus s squared times x of 0 which we remember is 3 plus 2 s squared times x hat minus 2 s x of 0 plus 3 s squared oh sorry s times x hat minus 3 x of 0 plus 10 x is equal to 0 and again we can get that x hat will be equal to s squared times x of 0 which is 3 plus 2s times 3 is 6s plus 3 times 3 will be 9 must be uh, so and by the way this is x hat again so x hat must be equal to this divided by s cube plus 2s hat uh, s squared sorry plus 3s plus 10 okay and likewise we solve for u is equal to 0 x of 0 is equal to 0 x prime of 0 is equal to 5 and x second of 0 is equal to 0 that will give us another x hat and finally we set u is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, x prime is equal to 0, and x second is equal to minus 1, and that gives us another x hat. By inverting each one of these results, we obtain an x of t, a green x of t, a pink s of t, and a blue x of t. And now to obtain the x of t corresponding to the simultaneous effect of an input and each individual condition we can just sum them up
the net result will be exactly the same answer as if you had taken all these initial conditions and u at the same time. However, dealing with them separately can be much more practical. So, an example that we have already seen of the principle of superposition is, if you remember, the effect of taking a system like 1 over s squared plus 1 and passing it through a window of height 1. Okay, this is time, this is the amplitude of the signal u, okay, and this is the zero level. Then what we have said is that this is the sum of a step that does this and a step that does that. The sum of the two is exactly this. Now what we could do is take this step okay, and to obtain the response we first take the response to this step. Let's say it occurs at time t0 and this one occurs at time t0 plus delta t. We know that for the first one, the response will be 1 over s squared plus 1 times the Laplace transform of a step, which would be e to the minus s times t0 times 1 over s. Now the next step going through the same system will have 1 over s squared plus 1 that e to the minus s times t0 plus delta t times 1 over s. When you take the sum of these two terms, you actually get the effect of this guy. Okay? So now, what I would like to do is to demo this on a practical example. So now I would like to demonstrate this on a practical example. For that, I will indicate to you a system. This system is made of a few different elements. First, you have a first mass here, you have a second mass there. These two masses are made of bolts that are linked together by elastic bands here 
and an elastic band that runs all the way up to a rotary motion generated by a little motor which is demultiplied. I am now going to show you these elements one by one. So, the motor looks like this. It has a 3 volt standard motor. The 3 volt standard motor is controlled via a potentiometer and a few batteries. The voltage of the batteries is higher than that of the what the motor can accept, but this is for smoothness purposes. So the motor feeds into a line. That line is made of elastic rubber bands, except the first, which is a piece of wool, in such a way that the first bolt appears at a certain height, about 31 inches down, and the second ball, which is a little bit bigger, appears at the height of 46 feet. Now, what I can do is I can act on the motor or directly on the masses. So, let me adjust the view a little bit. Okay, like this. And let's um, act on this thing and try and see what the principle of superposition means. Well, for example, it means that I could talk about two different motions. The motion excited by some initial conditions why well, then let the system go? And you see it undergoes some transient oscillations. Again, I set some initial conditions and I let the system go. Okay? I could choose other initial conditions like this one and let the system go. On the other hand, I could pick the system and apply to it a motion U. Okay? So that's an excitation. And that excitation also generates some motion. I can change my signal by changing the value of my potentiometer. And the theorem of superposition tells you the following. What I did by exciting the system with the motor and what I've done by setting the initial condition. If I set them up, I obtain what happens when I start the system with some oscillation, some initial position, and I feel the signal at the same time. Of course, it is hard to repeat the same excitation signal, but that's what it means. Okay? In order to get 
the response of this system with this initial condition and some input I can just do two separate experiments first by taking some initial condition leaving the excitation quiet and see what happens record the signal let the system go to rest and then record separately the motion of the masses as they undergo the excitation alone while the initial conditions were at zero okay so this is exactly what I mean by principle of superposition 